Hello friends and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're making carrot cake muffins and this recipe you can use in a, a solid cake or in the muffins however you want to do it but I like to do it in the muffins and so we're going to start. We are going to put in, a, in one bowl one cup of brown sugar and one cup of white sugar. So the two sugars make the top of the muffins really nice and crispy. And then we're going to take one and a half teaspoons of salt. I'm going to add that. And I have one and a quarter cups of oil. Two teaspoons of vanilla essence and then four eggs which we're going to put in separately and stir up one at a time. Okay, stir it all in. And the next one. We stir it all together till it's nice and smooth and all the lumps are up. That we're going to put aside. In a separate bowl, going to take two cups of flour and two teaspoons of bicarbonate of soda and then what we have, we take two teaspoons of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, uh, half a teaspoon of ginger and a little bit like a quarter of uh, ground cloves if you have also if you have cardamom you can also add that and that's half a teaspoon so I have put them all together and in they go so once we've stirred that all together we're going to add half of our dry ingredients into our wet mixture and stir that in so that there are no lumps. Okay. Stir it all in, there's no lumps. Then to that we're going to add three cups of grated carrots. Now if you're going to use nuts, raisins, have your nuts chopped up or have your raisins ready, but because my children are so fussy, I don't normally put them in. So they come out really nicely either way. But today I'm not putting them in, but if you want to do it, you can put nuts, raisins, you can put currants in, whatever you'd like to add to your carrot cake. Just as an aside, when you put your nuts and raisins in, first just mix them in a little bit of flour, so toss them in the flour so that they don't just sink to the bottom. Okay, and then, then you toss them in with your carrots and the rest of the dry ingredients. All right, and then use your uh, a wooden spoon to stir it all up because now it's quite solid with the carrots and also if you put your nuts and raisins in. You're going to stir that all up and that is about that for now. So we're going to put it into a pre-greased pan, whatever you're going to bake it in, whether it's muffins or, or a, a baking pan. Uh, make sure that it's greased. Put your oven on at 180 degrees. Looks like caramel. Doesn't that look delicious? <laughs> it is delicious. So my cupcakes in the muffin tray are going to be about 18 to 20 minutes in the oven. And if you're doing a, a loaf or a cake, take it from about 35 to 45 minutes. And then we're going to work on the icing. Now for the best cream cheese icing ever, 
and it's so simple we're going to take a quarter of a cup of melted butter or room temperature so your your butter and your cream cheese must be at room temperature to be able to mix easily um, that's why i melt my butter that's a quarter of a cup 250 grams cream cheese so that's the part that makes it a little bit expensive you can use normal icing but this uh, the cream cheese icing complements the carrot cake and is delicious so can you see it it's actually quite nice and smooth now that I've put it at room temperature and I'm going to mix it up as much as I can to make it nice and smooth so delicious then we're going to take a teaspoon of vanilla essence and mix that in nicely nice and smooth and to that we're going to add a half a cup of icing sugar so we're going to sieve it so that there are no lumps. Mix it all in. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is as good as it gets. When you add that to your carrot cake, it is delicious. In fact, let me just check. Mm. It's so smooth and creamy and sweet. Mm. Mm. So if you noticed, where if you use the muffin tray, you still have another whole 12 more muffins that you can make. So you can either bake them up and freeze them or save them for tomorrow because you're going to finish them all today and then have the next 12 tomorrow. Anyway, if you enjoyed my recipe and the video, please would you like subscribe and share enjoy your carrot cake and time for tea bye everybody